Hello fellow gardeners. Well we're back today now to make you another video of a uh, what we might call a trucker's bucket or a vacationer's bucket because we uh, we made one a few days ago out of that, uh, see, that uh, tub that uh, we get the protein in that we feed to the cows. And I had several requests of us um, wanting me to make one out of a tote that they buy at the chain stores. So I went down and bought a couple of these totes at the chain store, and I bought this one here. It's got a yellow lid. It doesn't make any difference. You can get them at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, your favorite chain store. It doesn't make any difference. But this is it was a pretty stout one, I thought. So I got it. I got two of them. And what we do now, we just take this one, the tote, and we do not drill any holes in it. No holes in your bottom tote. Okay. All we're going to do is set that right there, and uh, we're going to make us a, we got to make us a wick, and so we can use a five-gallon bucket, but the only problem in this tote, now in some of your totes, the taller totes, it will be not tall enough, but see here, it's a little bit tall, so what we'd have to do if you used a five-gallon bucket for, a, for the wick is take and cut this off just about a half inch tall. I mean, cut off about a half inch of that. Then we drill our holes in the bottom of the bucket, about four of them right down there close to the bottom. And we don't worry about nothing else, just four holes down there so the water can go in and come up through this soil. And uh, if you want to use a five gallon bucket, cut this off and set it right in the middle. Well, first you need to lay this on there and turn this bucket on, on there right in the center and draw your ring around it and then cut your hole out just a little bit smaller than your ring if you can see what I'm saying. Here's where I draw it around here and we cut it out a little bit smaller than that. So anyway, because you've got to have this with a lid, this tote's got to have this lid on top of it. All right, so we're going to make our wick. Now I chose to use these little buckets here instead of cut a five gallon bucket off. Either one works fine. It just so happened I had several of these. So I took three of these and I drilled my four holes in the bottom and I'll set the first one in there and see it's not tall enough. Still likes about two or three inches. So I took another one, cut the bottom out of it to make an extender just like that right there. Cut another one out, made an extender and set it on there just like that right there. And now guess what? That'll be just the right height, okay? So we, we're going to put this lid on top of this. Put, it, put that bucket right there where it catches on all sides. And now Sherry, I mean, uh, Tracy, Tracy is going to help me. Now we take our second tote and we cut a hole in the bottom of it just the size of that other hole and we set that right in there on that. I'm going to show you what we've got in there now. You can see that, that, that hole in that tote fits right with that bucket. And what we're going to do, we're going to fill this up with potting mix now. Right up into the, all the way up, pack it down. So, trust if you'll, if you'll pour me in some soil here. Okay. Pour this up more. I need to pack that soil hold off just a minute. Now I'll, I'll pack that soil right down in that bucket there. Now pour the rest of it in there, Tracy. Good deal. All right, now then I've got it about half full and I'm going to put my sea mineral, my sustain, and my lime and gypsum and Epsom salt in there. If you need these fertilizers, you can call 580-564-2166 and one of the ladies will help you get this on the road to you. And uh, they'll send you a paper telling you just how to use this fertilizer and everything. So uh, just any way we can help you, we'd love to do it. All right, so we've put a fertilizer in there. 
You can go back and look to the video, see how to do that. All you got to do is scatter it in there, and it tells you on the paper how much to put in. We got our fertilizer in. Now we're going to go ahead and finish it up with some more uh, potting mix. And you use a potting mix, not a potting soil. Potting soil has got a lot of soil out of the ground, and it's too packy. You want this to be real loose so that it can wick, so it can have air in it, because a plant takes water, food, air, and sunshine. We're going to give it the food and the air and the uh, water, and we're going to let the good Lord give it the sunshine when we put it out in the sun. All right, give me some more right on up to the top. Cressy, you're doing good. Now see, that took about two of those bags to fill that up, and that's, that's deep enough. As long as you've got up that full right there, you can grow in that just fine. And uh, I'll tell you what you can do since you're, you, know, you leave that down like that a little bit. Let's say it turns off real cold this winter and your plants are still small. All you got to do is take that other lid and just put it right on top of this, and that'll insulate it to get it through the night, and then the next morning you take it back off. Now, if it's up here too tall, then you're going to have to set some cans or something in there and lay your lid on it and put you a piece of plastic or a rug or something over it. But anyway, this is the way you make your trucker's tub out of two of those totes. And uh, we just want to thank you for watching and hope you have a happy gardening season this year. I know we're getting down close to our holidays and we'll say uh, Merry Christmas and may the good Lord be good to you. Uh, I know he's good to all of us all the time, letting us breathe and live. Let's serve him at the same time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, subscribe, ring the bell for the notification, and we'll make you another video.